Well, there it is, boys and girls. We have crossed the 500 subscriber mark. Not only crossed it, but blown by it. So, I score the milestone, you get the presents. We're going to give away two Bronze Age mystery boxes. So, if you like comic books, if you like old comic books, and if you like free old comic books, stick around. At least two of you are going to have some fun. Well, here they are, gang. This is what we are giving away. These are two Bronze Age mystery boxes. And as you can see, it is a very important award, a very prestigious award. It is Fragile. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, they originally sold for $35 uh, on the sellmycomicbooks.com website. Uh, this was the uh, Bronze Age mystery box set. There were, uh, I believe, 100 boxes in this set and then when we, when we got down to the last 10 or so we moved them over to the uh, dot com comics dot com website the retail store but uh these were as i said they sold for uh, 35 dollars and it is 10 bronze age comic books and by bronze age we're defining that um as roughly 1969 until about 1982 or three and i know i agree with you that does get a little into the uh, into the copper age but again it was 10 books the overstreet value on those 10 books uh was at least 45 dollars and i can tell you that in most cases it was closer to 50 60 65 dollars i know that because i am the one who built all 100 of these sets now it's 10 books but one in 10 boxes had a bonus 11th book that all by itself was worth by Overstreet the $35. And I've got no way of knowing if one of these has a bonus book. One of these could even have the grand prize book, which was What If uh, number 10, the first appearance of the Jane Foster Thor. Uh, so I never saw you know any kind of unboxing video online. A lot of people do videos of our mystery boxes when they get them they open them up on camera and I never saw anybody open one with the grand prize I did see a couple of people uh, get one of the uh, of the bonus books but I never saw all 10 so one of these two boxes the last two that are left could have a bonus book could possibly have the uh, the you know the grand prize book but at any rate this is what we're giving away this is the prize for uh, being here along for the ride as we get to 500 subscribers. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to give away two of these. So stick around. We're going to do that right now. And now switching back to the screen view. You know, the last time I did a giveaway, I had to write down names on little pieces of paper. And I drew them out of uh, Puff the Magic Yamaka. But this time we're going to employ some high technology. I am using the name picker at commentpicker.com. So this is basically going to randomize the list. And let me see if I can paste this in here. There we go. So what I did is I went through, since I started uh, the contest about two and a half months ago, when we were around, I don't know, 250, 300 or so uh, subscribers, and we started the drive to five, and I've gone back, and I have basically what I did is I picked out everybody who left a comment. And if you don't see your name here, and I'll scroll up through it, if you know you left a comment within the last couple of months anyway, and you don't see your name, let me know. I will uh, apologize profusely. And probably what I will do is the next time we do this, once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll, I'll enter your name twice. I'll give you two bites at the apple. But uh, one problem I had was that, you know, the contest was supposed to be if you uh, were subscribed to the channel and left a comment. Well, I should have specified if you were subscribed to the channel and had your notifications on. A lot of these names here, uh, they have their, their notifications hidden, so it doesn't tell me if they're actually subscribed. And, you know, I sort of, I presume that they are. Uh, because <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I just went through and I, I picked out everybody who had left a comment since I started, uh, started the contest. So 
some of these people may not actually be subscribed. So I guess, you know, we're going to do some alternates. We're going to pick some alternates because somebody might win and they only dropped in the channel just like once. And I may not be able to get a hold of them to give the box away. So we'll choose a couple of alternates for each box. And, you know, actually, this contest really didn't work as well as I'd hoped. There were only 97 names, 97 people who left a comment. So I've got 500 subscribers and only, what is that? You do the math. 20% of them ever left a comment. <laughs> you know, the, the whole point of the contest was to drive subscriptions and to drive comments, which would feed the algorithm and, and you know, get the channel out to more people. So I think maybe what I'll do is for the, you know, the, the, the thousand subscriber contest, maybe what we'll do is uh, a refer a friend program. <laughs> like if, if somebody has their notifications turned on and subscribes to the channel so I can see that they're subscribed and leaves a comment that they have been referred by you, I will enter you in the contest. And I think what we'll do next time, I'm getting pretty close uh, to having to build some new mystery boxes. They'll be the Halloween mystery boxes. So it'll be 10 random, you know, monster-themed, uh, uh, horror-themed types of comic books. Uh, that set did really well last year. Actually, uh, we did 75 of those boxes, and they sold out in about a week. And so we'll probably do um, 150 maybe this year. So I'll hold back a couple for this contest, assuming the owner of the company uh, gives a thumbs up. But I, I hope he will, uh, because I think I get an indication that, you know, even though this channel isn't strictly a commercial for the business, it's more about just the fun and joy of comic books. And I use what I do for a living as sort of the, the rationale, the raison d'etre for that. Um, <laughs> it gives me something to do a video about, basically. Uh, I... Uh, I like to think that, that you know, this channel has driven some people towards the business. So if, if you buy something from .com Comics on, uh, online or sell my comic books at .com online or, you know, on eBay, drop a note when you buy it and tell them you saw, you know, you saw them mentioned on Shanghala. Um, I, yeah, I, you say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> this this could turn out really bad. You know, some people could say, hey, freaking Shang Hollis dragging your business down because he's a freaking idiot. <laughs> so maybe I should maybe I should, you know, check that. Don't do that. <laughs> but, but anyway, okay, let's draw the name. So uh we're gonna hit the shuffle here. And so this will be the winner of the first box. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. I'm gonna have to see if I can find a drum roll sound bite <laughs> no drum roll okay all right let's see here and shuffle Ooh, north garden comics nice now <laughs> you know how a parent um claims that they love all of their children equally i'm gonna tell you i love all of my commenters equally but i'm really happy that north garden comics won uh chris is a good guy and also, he will probably do an unboxing video once he gets his box. And I'll get to see what he actually got. See if he got one of the um, bonus books or even the grand prize books or, or whatever. So that makes me happy. Um, I'm, gr I'm glad it's somebody I actually know rather than one of these people, these you know random names that just dropped in once. So Chris, North Garden Comics, uh, we need to hook horns. Uh, reach out to me. I'll reach out to you. I think we can connect pretty easily. And get an address I can send this box to. But just in case, just in case I can't hook up with uh, Chris here within, let's say, a couple of weeks, or or if he declines the box, you know, maybe maybe he doesn't want it. Um, I can't I can't make him take it. <laughs> let's pick a first alternate. So the first alternate for the first box will be Shiny Trico. I have no idea who Shiny Trico is. This must be somebody. Who again dropped in once, left a comment, and may not even be subscribed. But we'll do the same thing here. You know, if I can't connect with Chris or if he declines after a couple of weeks, I'll try and reach Shiny Trico. And after a couple of weeks, I'm not able to reach Shiny Trico, and he uh, and or she uh, and or he she. I don't know. <laughs> 
I'm not really clear. I, I, I'm an old guy. I'm not clear on what the third option is supposed to be. But uh, he, she, or indeterminate, whatever shiny Trico may be, um, but can't connect. Then we'll go to the second alternate, and that will be John Yi. All right. Now we're going to give away the second box. And I think, now I don't have to repaste this. I can just reshuffle again, right? Yeah, let's do that. So, this is going to be another drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. And shuffle. Soul David Thompson. David has left a few uh, a few comments, so that is good. I'm glad. I'm glad that again, the 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 heavy commenters, the ones that I'm actually kind of sort of building up a little bit of a rapport, a little bit of a, a friendship with. That's nice. That's nice. Rather than just the randos. Um, not that I would, you know, avoid giving it to a rando, but you know how it is. And we'll go again for the first alternate in case I cannot connect with Soul David here within a couple of weeks. Or if he declines, the first alternate for the second box will be Kurt Barlow. Kurt's a good commenter. He's left lots of, lots of fun comments. And, you know, even when I don't respond to a comment, I try and hit the little heart thing, even though that weirds me out because I'm an old-fashioned Yankee prude and saying, I love your comment. I love your comment. <laughs> it's a little, a little much for me. But um, I try to at least do that to acknowledge, you know, that I've seen the comment and read it and appreciated it. And please know that I do. Even if I, if I don't respond, you know, because there's not like a direct question or something to respond to, um, or if it takes me a few days to get around to looking at the comments, because I'm I'm like you know the magician and Frosty the Snowman. I'm busy, busy, busy. <laughs> um, please know that I do appreciate uh, all of your comments and I do read them all. Uh, and so let's go now to the second alternate for the second box, and that's Jilly Jill. Hey, I like Jilly Jill too. Jilly Jill leaves lots of nice comments. Not just nice comments, but I mean interesting things. Uh, she has interesting things to say as well. But she's also just very nice. All right, so that's it, uh, boys and girls. That is uh, that is the uh, that's the contest. That's uh, that was the fun right there. We've done it. So the first box is going to go out to North Garden Comics, and then the second box is going to go out to Soul David Thompson. And then we'll go on to the alternates from there if um, connecting with them doesn't work out or if they decline. All right. Well, that's it. That's the video. Um, please come back again when we will get back to the unboxings. I've been working on some reviews and other things uh, to beef up the channel a little bit. And I think I'm going to start doing some little short snippets of news and commentary. I've, I've been kind of loath to do that. In so much as, you know, I get nervous about giving my opinions on things. One, because I come from a, you know, a journalism background, but also because I don't want to, you know, somebody has the, a different opinion than me, and then it starts a whole a whole ball of hate <laughs> going. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. That could be short-lived, but I'm going to start, uh, start doing that a little bit as well. And not just news, but also some commentary, some thought bubbles. Like, I've got one... That I've been working on of uh, should should the comics adapt the continuity from the movies. I think that'll generate some interesting discussion. But anyway, at the very least, we're going to keep up with the uh, unboxing videos, and we'll be back tomorrow morning with another one of those. Uh, until then, goodbye, good luck, and please be good to each other.